It was senior day and a record-breaking day for the Nazareth College swimming and diving teams on Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be a great meet day. You know, it's our senior night. I'm going to say goodbye to them, but uh, it's going to be a good meet. We're going to have a lot of fun. Hopefully get some records. Nazareth swam to victory over Utica and Alfred State in both the men's and women's competition. For the men, one of the seniors, Mark Dunkelberg, won the 50 free. The NAS 800 meter free relay of Matt Corona, Joseph Knapp, John Koch, and Connor McCabe broke the school and pool record. The men defeated Utica 188-32 and Alfred State 142-92. In diving, junior Sidney Taylor of Nazareth won both men's events on the one meter and three meter board. For the women's diving, Naz also won both events. Junior Taylor Waltz was first on the one meter board and sophomore Allie Norwood won the three meter competition. In women's swimming, first year Abigail Santos won the 100 fly. She was also part of the pool and school record setting 400 free relay team. The 800 free relay team also set a new record as the Golden Flyers women defeated Utica 186 to 29 and Alfred State 181 to 43. Both teams are now getting ready for the Empire 8 Conference Championships in February. Number one! <laughs> I think I'm definitely getting better as a swimmer. In the 200, I've like improved more than I did in high school, and the lifting helps you build more muscle to improve too. It's hard to say goodbye because you've seen them like since day one, being with them, being like, oh, they're so they're like older than us, but like they're not leaving yet, they're not leaving yet, and now it's finally the day that this is their last home meet. And it's hard like with people you practice every single day, you're not going to see them anymore. They're not going to be there to push you to go further. From what I've noticed, every recruit trip, everyone notices how big of a family we are. Like, we're all really close. If we have problems, they're always there to support you. We're also looking at getting relays to the Nationals um, in a few relays, in the two free relays specifically, which would be super awesome. This program's never sent a relay to Nationals. It'd be super cool. Um, but uh, I think uh, the biggest thing is we've been going after an E8 championship. And I think this year is probably our best shot at getting that on the men's team. And the women's looking for a three-peat, which will be pretty sweet. Every practice, you, ha you can look to your left and to your right, and no matter who Scott puts next to you, you're going to be pushed to your max. And that's what I love about this team is, you know, we have depth in any event, and there's always going to be someone there to push you to get better. Our men's sprinters stand out as being excellent, and probably our women's distance swimmers in terms of conference-level depth are as good, but our, you know, our women's sprinter was a national qualifier last year, so we have people pretty much all across the board. And certainly diving is an advantage for us too. We have four seniors then a junior that's graduating early. All of them have been just, I mean, just great people. Uh, they work hard, they, they bring what they need to bring to the program, and I think they, they, the best part is they've left it better than they found it. Right. And that's really something they can, they'll look back on with a lot of pride. Nazareth student athletes proudly support the following community organizations. The YMCA of Greater Rochester, the City of Rochester Clean Sweep, and the American Heart Association. The Golden Flyers, excelling in competition, the classroom, and the community. Nazareth video highlights are presented courtesy of a friend of the Golden Flyers.